Hello, I'm Patrick Reams with ComTech Advisory. Welcome to our latest episode of Conversations with Leaders in CTRM. Today we're visiting with Mr. Jeff Chapman, uh, Senior VP and General Manager of Drilling Info's Commodity Data Solutions Group. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thank you, Patrick. It's good to see you. Uh, it's good, uh, good to see you too. It's been a while since I think we last visited. Absolutely. Probably Essen in Germany last year. Yeah, that's uh, last exactly year. right. Yeah, okay. that's right. Well, maybe I'll see you there this year. We Absolutely, for sure. Uh, good. Uh, Jeff, I appreciate you dropping by. I think Drilling Info is a, is a name that's very familiar to the upstream markets uh, by virtue of sure. its, you know, its moniker. Uh, but it's probably less so in, in the commodities and, and energy trading risk base. Right. Uh, can you give... Uh, our viewers some sense of uh, what Drilling Info does in that particular space? Yeah, sure. It, you're, you're exactly right, Patrick. Drilling Info has uh, has long been known in the upstream space and has great brand equity uh, around really kind of making better, faster decisions, which is kind of our, our company motto. Right. And um, at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're a SaaS-based application that, that really primarily serves the upstream business. But um, based on customer satisfaction information, we felt that there was some downstream needs that, that needed servicing uh, mm -hmm. further um, down, the, down the chain. And uh, we realized um, that that market is something we didn't have a whole lot of information and in, in, in really industry knowledge in. So we mm -hmm. went through the whole build versus buy analysis and you know hiring a bunch of people, building right. platforms and applications. So uh, in order for us to, to get there quicker, we decided to make some acquisitions over the past couple of years that really helped us fill a need um, that really serviced both the front, mid, and back office. Right. There was a lot of players in the in the space that were focused really primarily on either the front or maybe the mid, the back, but. Really, we, we felt that there was an opportunity for us to help uh, across uh, across those those business segments, so to speak. So, uh, we made a couple different acquisitions. First was um, Global View Software, mm -hmm. which is a uh, industry leading uh, application, really focused on the front end des desktop and analytics and charting tools. Um, second was around Datagenic, again award winning uh, enterprise data management solution. Mm -hmm. And third was uh, PRT, Pattern Recognition Technologies, which mm -hmm. focused around um, load forecasting for power traders and utilities and, and providing. Uh, basically, neuro, neuro network and uh, artificial intelligence mm -hmm. uh, forecasting, which which really rounded out our commodity data solutions platform. Mm -hmm. and, and to that end, you, you introduced us at the beginning about uh, commodity data solutions. This is something that you're going to be hearing a lot more over our marketing team because we're, we're branding under that platform name mm -hmm. um, as we're coming forward with uh, with a solution that we feel is really differentiated in the market. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Uh, so, in, in terms of your your breadth, uh, what markets, what commodities, uh, geographic? Uh, what, what do you serve? In yeah, that's a great space? question. So if you think about the the companies that we acquired, um, you have Market View, which is, is really very, very strong uh, in the North America market. Datagenic, mm -hmm. which is pr very strong from a data perspective in, in EMEA and APAC. And then PRT mm -hmm. rounds out that power sector. Uh, we really come with, now we have 700 plus customers, uh, 8,400 users. Um, and really the, the data that we serve is so vast. It's everything from oil, gas, power, freight, bio, petro, forex, um, it, it really is vast. And that's one of the things we pride ourselves on is making sure that we're, we're providing the data needs um, with a, a really user-friendly user front end to our customer base. Mm -hmm. So, Jeff, in terms of uh, drilling info and your offerings, what, what differentiates those, those products, those services? Why do you win the deals that you win? Yeah, that's a good question. So, to the question you had previously, uh, I, I think the first thing is the vastness of our data. Um, that is, uh, bringing those three companies together obviously gives us a, a, a massive depth of, of data, but it's really beyond that. It's, it's the process automation, it's the functional understanding of the data, and also I think one of the big differentiators is um, the ability to, what drilling info on the upstream side brings to the table as well. So uh, through our market intelligence team, we've uh, had the ability to offer our podcast and OptiFlow solutions to our customers. Uh, podcast is really uh, getting being able to have in-depth market fundamental analysis. OptiFlow is tracking uh, pipeline gas flow. So uh, it's, it's really differentiated that allows us to offer something um, quite different than the rest of the competition. Uh, in the same sense, one of the things that um, I think uh, allows us to be differentiated is really the fact that uh, our solution can really be um, broken into to the pieces and parts, and we take a really a consultative approach around solving the solutions that our, our customers have issues with. Not just here's a here's a product, go go you know have fun with it. It's really understanding what the issue is and being able to solve that. Uh, one of which is our, our curve uh, curves as a service solution, which Patrick you're you're familiar with. Sure. And this is really uh, you don't have to buy the entire platform for this. You can if you're interested in just building out forward curve functionality and not handling Excel's and all the headaches that come along with that with um, auditing and 
in, in tracking um, and in having a, a very in-depth uh, ability to create uh, individual algorithms for your curves as well as um, create proper tracking, that's, that's our solution. So, and this is something we can turn on whether it's um, the customers want to do it themselves or we can actually perform, uh, perform a service for them as well. So um, that, is, that is one area of differentiation as well. And, and finally, it's really the, the, the breadth of our global organization. So we have support, we have professional services globally to support our customer base as well. So uh, we really feel that, that what, that's what differentiates us and allows us to win the deals we have. Uh, recently, CompTech issued a report on disruptive technologies. Mm -hmm. I think you've probably seen As a matter of fact, I think you, you guys participated in it in right. some form. Um, uh, we see a lot of interest in the market in these disrupt what we call disruptive technologies, algo trading, uh, blockchain, mm. uh, our, uh, robotic process automation, uh, AI. Are, are these areas of interest for you as, as Drilling Info? Are Absolutely. you looking at, uh, you know, you are an acquisitive company, mm. is there some potential there in the future? Yeah, absolutely. This is something that we're, we're heavily investing in. If you think about um, one of the main reasons we acquired uh, pattern, rec pattern recognition right. technologies was because of the neural network mm -hmm. um, and, and AI capabilities there. So mm -hmm. one of the things that we've developed and are working on right now is really uh, around, we, we've developed a sentiment analysis engine, which is taking a look at tweets from social media right. Right. And, and coming up with predicted forecasts there. So, uh, and in the same sense, uh, algo trading is something we're looking at as well. We know the market is, is heading there and um, taking, again, the power of our PRT uh, technologies uh, combined with our sentiment analysis, we're looking to, to create a, a platform and uh, something that can be differentiated in the market as well. So this is something we're, we're heavily invested in. Good. I, I guess as a, as a follow-on to that question, if, if you look at the trajectory of the market in terms of technology and data and data analytics and, and again, AI and, and those types of things, where do you see this market evolving to in terms of technology for commodities data over mm -hmm. the next five to ten years? What's what's different than, than where we're at today? Yeah, I think I think what remains the same is the need for data mm -hmm. and, and the, the need for vast data mm -hmm. and to be able to analyze it quickly. Um, I think we, we think what's going to change is really uh, the process automation, um, making sure that you're getting at it faster, and also the sources of data. Mm -hmm. There's there's a lot more coming out, not not, not just from the standard news feeds, but from social media areas, and there's probably going to be in five years a, a news feed that we haven't even heard of today. So um, being able to, to ingest and, and give that information back to our customers is critical for us. The other thing that we're, uh, we're heavily invested in and we think that is moving towards is really a, a SaaS-based um, platform right. where you're able to stand customers up a lot quicker, you're able to service them faster, and it's more about configurations versus customizations. Um, uh, and that's the area that we're going to be focused in as well, taking our business. Well, good, good. I think we're, we're out of time, but uh, it's, it's been very enlightening, and I, I very much appreciate you coming down and visiting with us. Yes, today. thank you, Patrick. Appreciate well, great, it. Great. So that's it for us today, uh, another episode of uh, Conversations Leaders in CTRM Technology. Uh, for additional information about this series or about uh, Commodity Technology Advisory, please visit our website at comtechadvisory.com or you can visit the uh, CTRM Center at ctrmcenter.com. Thanks a lot.